Doodle. Down, I say! Hey, Phineas. Hey, Isabella. What you doing? Building a roller coaster. In your backyard? Some of it. Wow. Isn't that kind of impossible? Some might say. Hey, Ferb. <laughs> Does your stepbrother ever talk? Ferb? He's more of a man of this. May I present to you a spectacle most of the morning in the making? The coolest coaster ever! Come on, Candace, help me with the groceries. Let's go. Hey, Phineas, that was great. Way too cool. That was awesome! Can we do it again? Sorry, only one ride per customer. That was great, Phineas. So what are you going to do tomorrow? Don't know yet. Maybe you can teach Perry some tricks. Well, he is a platypus. They don't do much. They're the only mammals to lay eggs. A screen and... <laughs> hmm. Maybe I need to turn the cable on first? Let's get this beach party started! Well, we wake up early and wax our surfboards down. We'll hit the beach, yeah, we'll hit the beach. Throw our board shorts on and head for surfing time. Hey, look! I can see our house from up here! Never show such confidence. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, those kids today and their holographic projections. He's in the pipeline. Now he's hanging 10. He's hanging 20. He's hanging 32. Now he's just hanging. The crowd loves it. I don't even think there's a name for that. The crowd is doing the wave, and Phineas is surfing it. Let's go to the judges. 10 to the fifth power, infinity, and oh, it seems Phineas. That pop star stuff might be funny at first, but then you'd be stuck in a dead end job. Too bad you can't just do it once and move on. Well, what you're talking about is a one hit wonder. A one-hit wonder? What's that? Well, a musical act goes to the top of the charts with a catchy tune and meaningless lyrics. Then they throw a big diva tantrum, lose their label, and they fade to obscurity. Before you know- oh. Well, it wasn't easy. It took most in the morning and half a dozen phone calls. But if you're willing to put in the work- That's it! I'm gonna tell Mom. Okay, tell her what? <coughs> Don't- I'm just gonna tell. Get your goo means that I love you. Mom! 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 Mom, you've got to see this. Let me guess. Is it unbelievable? <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Hi, I'm Bill. We can squeeze 20 years of entertainment out of this one videotape. Ah, the giant robot is coming right at us. Wow, you sure like a lot of pepper. I'm more of a paprika man myself. <laughs> <laughs> it will take more than condiments to foil my brilliant plan. Know a pit crew? Well, I know a few people who work well together. Great, you're hired. See you at the track. Hey, Ferb, where's Perry? Good morning, Agent P. The evil doctor Doofenshmirtz is up to his own tricks for reasons completely un. Scott, Look. No. I'll do it for free. You're hired. Really? You bet. With the money I save, I'll be able to hire the hottest new directors in town. Hello. Wow. Well, I could get used to this. Miss Candace, here's your contract and your bagel. This is Antoine, your dialogue coach. Nikki, your swimming stand-in and your personal trainers. Olga and Chicago Joe. Sure, sure, sure. Drop and give me 20. What happened to the stinky cheese? Hey, the platypus, you ate all the cheese? No! I created this for peaceful, cheese-loving purposes, but now you force me to wield it in anger. Wow, those kids! I don't want that to happen to you. It won't, cause I'm gonna train him. Finally, in the 
indisputable photographic evidence of dangerous and irresponsible behavior. Candace, this is your thumb in front of the lens. Ah! Oh, you are coming with me! And now, Perry the Platypus, I will smudge your face with ice cream! <laughs> Platypus, your timing is impeccable. And by impeccable, I mean completely impeccable! <laughs> you are just in time to witness my li You're right! It's beautiful! Happy birthday, honey. Now let's go find your father. Oh. Did you like your birthday present? <laughs> Well, it was definitely better than the gorilla in the cake. Aha! Stacy! Oh my gosh! Guess what? Oh, Stacy, I can't understand you. Why are you crying? Yeah, crying, crying, it hurts, right? Got that, uh-huh. Oh, hi, Mrs. Hirano! What? Stacy got her ear. Well, uh, basically, Doofenshmirtz has been acting up again. He's uh, stockpiling the usual strange and unrelated items. This time, it's copy machines and ink cartridges by the thousands. We need you to find out what's going on right away. Okay, Ferb. If we're gonna tackle this fashion design thing... Everyone who is anyone is now wearing summer all the time. Not a bad morning's work. Nice outfit, handsome. You are on fire. When Mom hears about this... Hey, wait a minute. Where did you get those outfits? These? Why, they're only the latest hit designs from the Summer All the Time collection. Everybody's wearing them. I mean, gee... So he was, like, totally checking me out when Little Miss Pants walks in front of me. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, uh, hello. And so she was like, oh, no, you didn't. And I was like, oh, yes, I did. Body sorry, buckaroos. Kind of rain in those ponies. Hey, Isabella. What are you doing here? I just earned my milking badge. And it was so easy. All you do is squeeze and pull and squeeze and pull and squeeze and pull and squeeze and pull and... So, what you doing? Well, um, I'm a little busy, sweetie. I'm having my hair done at Babs. Oh, yeah, that's perfect! Oh, they're coming your way! Quick, look out the window! Do you see any cows? That's cute, Candace. Okay, Babs needs to comb me up. Gotta go. Urgh. Any last noises, Perry the Platypus? You know that little chirping, silly noise that you make? Yeah. Why have snow in the winter when it's too cold to enjoy it? You guys are gonna need some help. I think cheerleaders are overrated anyway. I mean, being gorgeous and popular, does that matter in the real world? What is going on out there? Whoa, this looks great. <laughs> Too scrawny. Throw it back. Wow, Dee Dee. You're really great. Son. Good morning, gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> Don't you think? What? Don't you think we should sit together to watch the show? If, if you want to. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, Candace, are you okay? Say, are there any wild parsnips in here? Uh, I think that's all that's in there. A roller coaster and a beach in the backyard. Drove cattle through the city and messed up the boulevard. They took me back in time when we went to that museum. They built 50 foot treehouse robots, but still you didn't see them. Those boys are even on. Cool. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, well, at least I'm back to normal. Hey, Candace. My mom played me some of their CD. Your singing is awesome. How'd you get your voice to sound like that? Oh, same as all the great blues singers. Wild parsnips. No, oh, give me a break! Working! <laughs>
<gasps> Perry the Platz? Hey, where's Perry? Huh, I wonder where he goes when we can't find him. What the? Some sort of secret room? Wow. What in the world? A secret underground headquarters with a particle disruptor and, oh, a hovercraft. Looks like we're gonna be secret agents, huh? When did you find the time to build all this, fur? Actually, I... Hello, Agent P. How did you make a working destructo ray? See. That's cool. Sorry, gang. We've got to postpone the Trojan War reenactment till further notice. You know, the best part of getting your tonsils out is that you get to eat all the ice cream you want. Really? Mountains of it. You could have the biggest ice cream sundae ever made. Herb, I know what we're going to do today. First, we got to drop some. <clears throat> is there something you would like to share with the whole class? Sorry, sir. Candace, I'll talk to you later, okay? I'm keeping an eye on you. Hey, Ferb, you got the blueprints? Excellent. Isabella's gonna love it. Perry the Platypus, you're, you're early. I haven't even started yet. My my daughter should be here any minute with the blueprints, though. Oh. Huh? Ah. <laughs> well, this can't be right. Get ready for a giant Sunday. Well, this can't be right. Let me see those blueprints. Oh, wait a minute. Those are the plans for a spin. Jimmy, Jimmy. Man, this monkey is the coolest toy around. Jimmy, Jimmy. Another gem from the Hardy Heart Toy Makers. <laughs> There, you see? It sells itself! Shimmy Jimmy is our number one toy. I hope you are ready to face some customers, Candice. You can depend on me. Hi, Stacy. Yeah, it's so cool. The f we could promise the moon without really promising anything. Ooh, I love it! Uh, I Brilliant, love it I loved JD. it even before I heard Are it! Are you all crazy? It's just a dead, stupid block of wood, and it doesn't do any... I love it. What are we talking about? Glad we're all on the same page. Phineas and Ferb, we're going to produce your toy that does nothing. I'll put both of you in charge and double your salaries. What do you say? Here you go, little angel. Yay! My own in action figure. Candace, come on out. You're kidding, right? Fantastic! You look like number one. I feel like number two. That's the spirit! Now, go out there and bring us some customers. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I am just so glad that Jeremy's on break. If he saw me in this thing, I think I'd plot. Excuse me, sir? Oh, it's supper time. Mom's making fried chicken. But thanks for a great day. Oh, that's just great. Any of the rest of you geniuses have an idea? I found this in my office with a pile of shattered glass, JB. What's this, a brick? That's brilliant! Brick, 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 brick. It's fun. Now who would buy a brick for a toy? It does absolutely- Sell signal in this place! Candace! Oh, hi, Grandma. How can you stand living out here in the middle of nowhere? Oh, come on, honey. It's not so bad. You'll see. All right, nature lovers! Time for fiddles! <laughs> Vittles is Grandpa E's for food. Hey, where's Perry? Take it away, Phineas! All right, Grandpa, I've got a good one. It's about Bigfoot. Bigfoot? 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 Grandma! Sorry, dear! You are the cutest thing I have ever seen. Yes, you are. Oh, I do not believe her one bit. Too much overacting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I smell mm -hmm. ham. Hey, Perry. Why y'all covered in lipstick? Hey, boys. Hi, Mom. What are you up to today? We're racing our remote control monster trucks. I don't see any monster trucks. I came up with my own line of monster trucks. Behold! Very easy. 
evil, don't you think? There's even one that looks like me. Look, look. <laughs> we'll corner the markets. And just to be sure, I have created the Monster Truck Awayinator. You know, to do away with the competition. But is it safe to use? Sure, let me demonstrate. See, Candace, even a trained professional has trouble from time to time. Now, I want you to just relax and park this car. Perfect. Time for some monster truck away and anything. Eggs and bacon, oh yeah. Mom, let me be the first to say. Happy birthday, Mom. We brought you some periodicals. Like Mom Daily, Mom Weekly, Mom Bi-Weekly, and just the way you like it, Half Cap, Double Frap, Mocha Chocolate, Mezzo Espresso. <gasps> oh, wow. You boys really outdid yourselves. Oh, con... <laughs> I love it when dreams fail. As you know, I've been trying to take over the tri-state area for quite some time now. And I realize this tri-state area is filled with things I detest. So many things, like, like blinking traffic arrows. Stop blinking at me, telling me where to go. Point, point, point. Oh, I hate you. Let's see what there's. Ear hair. Oh, yes, I've always hated you. Pelicans. Terrible creatures. What, what are you, a bird or a... It's a good thing I play the bugle. <laughs> It's a good thing I play the bongos! Five minutes later. It's a good thing I play the balalaika! It's a good thing I play the bagpipe! I should have been the omelet station. Candace, honey, come join us. The boys have put together a little video. Yeah. Here, you can do the honors. Why? Do you boys have anything exciting planned? We're either gonna make this nuclear powered submarine or this incredible shrinking ray. But for some reason, Ferb and I can't seem to make up our minds. Well, I've made up my mind. You two have the most wonderful imaginations. It's real, you know. What's real, dear? The submarine, the shrinking ray. They're really gonna build that stuff. Well, actually, we haven't decided yet. Anyway, when I try to bust them, everything will just magically disappear. Oh, is green? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, we get that a lot. One grilled cheese sandwich hot off the... Oh, cool! Hey, Isabella. You're just in time. You guys amaze me. When we're inside, we'll activate the shrinkage. You take care of the rest. Check it out, Pinky. Your favorite. Ready? Ah, tacos. You know who makes the best tacos? Mom. These kind of remind me of the ones we had for dinner last night. Hey, Pinky didn't have dinner with us. Wait a minute. Candace's favorite cereal? Hello? Phineas? Where are you? Pinky ran away, and when I came back, the sandwich was gone. Okay, let me call you back. Yeah, we're inside Candace's stomach. That's creepy on so many levels. Farewell, Perry the Platypus! Mom, Mom, Mom! Submarine, submarine! <laughs> Agent P? Hey, it's me, Carl. The intern? We got a bit of a situation here. Major monogram. Right. Testing number two. So, can I get you something? <laughs> Part of the fossil exhibit! That's a good one! <laughs> we are a go on number three. Hi, Jeremy. Candace, you're really kind of freaking me out. Hey, aren't you a little young to be working? Without your schemes, my life, it seems, is empty. I spent all my time keeping you from doing wrong. You were my only nemesis. I'd for your plans, but still I miss the moments when we didn't get along. So search your heart, please. Your audio tour of Fossils. If you'd like to take the tour again, just flip the tape. I can do that? Hey, I don't remember seeing this part. Hmm. 
<laughs> hey, that looks just like Candace. Hey, honey, you've got to see this. Look, I'm telling you, it's the most peculiar thing I've ever seen. It looks just like Candace. I forgot what comes after the bridge. <gasps> Peter the Panda, what are you doing? <gasps> You're disassembling my freezinator array? Well, well, I'm singing about my feelings? You, you're dead to me. You're dead to me. <laughs> Take it away, Ferb. You mean to tell me you built a time machine that has to be plugged in? Oh, put a sock in it. Candace, no sudden movements. What does it matter? We're all doomed anyway. I mean, where... <laughs> well, how about we go check out that scary dinosaur? No, no, don't go in there! It's going to eat you! I'm telling you! Well, you're right, Candace. It's very late. We've learned some alarming information. Several suspicious items have been purchased by the Doofenshmirtz Corporation. They include an industrial-grade air compressor, 20 canisters of helium oxide, and 400 pounds of fireworks. Get right on it. For a moment, their ballad snuck your way into my heart, snuck its way to... I heard a man playing blues, what a wonderful noise. He had an old guitar, but not a dollar to his name. Making music so sad, but he was happy just the same. He gave me a wink and said, son, let me share the news. If you want a happy life, you gotta learn to sing the blues. I asked my daddy for a guitar, oh, I begged and I pled. I said I wanted to play the blues and... You doofuses! Mom's gonna see you and wonder what you're up to! You gotta keep Mom distracted while we talk to Bobby. Say, Mom, maybe we should get you ready for Candace, Bobby what with... what are you doing? Uh, you look like you need some conditioner! Candace! Hurry up, hurry up! Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. We're here to see Bobby. You know, the bass player from the band Love Handle? <gasps> I have no idea what you're talking about. I've got as much rhythm as that chair. What happened to me was a tragedy, but I don't have to be a millionaire. Look, I got a sweet deal going on here. I got all the books that I can read. All these sweet old ladies in this carpet from the 80s want from Mocha to librarian need. Shh. Besides, I ain't got rhythm. No, I Dad, we're back. So I hear oh, it's please, your please, stop. Nobody ever lets me finish my number. That's it. Call me when my ride's here. There's lasagna in the fridge. Thank you. Oh, boys, it's really hopeless. Fear not, Daddy-O. We got you covered. Hit it, Ferb. <laughs> Linda! Linda, darling! What are you young ladies doing? Wrestling, Mom. Favorite game? Well, I'll just be running a few errands. First, I'll get the groceries, then to the florist, and then to the car wash. Okay, whatever. Kind of busy right now. Call if there's any trouble. With my brothers, I might as well call now. Huh. You're right, Ferb. I guess it would make a sound. Say, where's Perry? There you are, Agent P. It is... Ah. I'm taking you down! Ah! You see, Perry the Platypus, you are no match for my pigeons. I have conditioned their tiny little bird brains to do exactly what I say by using my brand new, very evil invention called the Poopinator. Oh! So you see how I held that last note? Good, huh? Treehouse fight! Bring on, maggots! <laughs> Look, the controls are just like the video game. Let's show them our mad skills. Woohoo! Let's dance, yeah. sweeps! Hey, stop leading! You stop leading! That's what you get for using a bunch of stupid pigeons. Wait for me! Open the door, please! Come on, come on, come on! 
Mateys. Oh, just a sec. Arrgh! Why are you talking like a pirate, Grandpa? Arrgh, I'm trying to tell the story of Bad Beard the Pirate. There's a song about it. Say, does anyone have a concertina? Buford. Me? Yes. <gasps> arrgh, 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 arrgh. This is the bad... Oh, hey, Agent E, back off. Uh, anyway... Agent E spotted Dr. Doofenshmirtz on Spleen Island. He's moving boxes and equipment into what's known as the Haunted Cave of the Old Sea Hag. Honestly, I'm not making this stuff up. But anyway, we believe he's creating a new hideout there, and we want you to foil his plans. Good luck, Agent P. No way. This is so weird. Better the platypus. Oh, give me a break. I'm, I'm moving. Legally, I bought this place. And cheap, too. It's supposed to be haunted by a terrifying old sea hag. <laughs> Look, Barry the Platypus, just because I'm evil doesn't mean everything I do is evil. Fine. You, you want the evil Barry the Platypus? I'll get I'll open it. But, Phineas, what about the curse? Bad beard forever, dude. You don't even have a chin. That's a chance I'll have to take. Shiver me timbers. The curse is true. We will have bad beards forever. Oh, no. But it's full of bad fake beards. Now, Perry the Platypus, why don't you say hello to my new pet crocodiles? Susan and Susan! I named them after The Blue Moss. What? Oh. Love the beard, Kevin. Avast, me hearties! We're sailing for the Isle of Spleen to search for the treasure of Bad Beard. I'm feeling sick! You're looking green! We, we search, search for the, the treasure, treasure of Bad Beard! Beard. We'll plunder and pillage! And do some math! And all refuse to... Comfy, Perry the Platypus! I've prepared something special just for you! You see, until now, every attempt to eradicate you has been foiled! Then I came across some... Excuse me, who are you and what are you doing here? Okay, we're all set. Let's meet our racers. In the first chariot is us. Then we got Isabella and the Fireside Girls, Buford and Baljeet, and we have one for Candace too if she ever shows up. Here are the maps for everyone. The first chariot to reach the museum wins. Any questions? Mm, yes, uh, should we not establish the rules first? This is a chariot race. Reckless endangerment, disrupting traffic. Ew, they are so busted. And a bowling ball catapult? I mean, what were we thinking? Oh, my phone! Why'd we give them all the cool stuff? What do we have? Cup holders? Sweet! Now we're cooking. The girls are stealing! That was the coolest rocking horse, mower pulled chariot, minotaur chase ever! Look, look, look! Okay, tell me you don't see a giant, enormous Ferris wheel in the backyard. All right, I don't see a giant, enormous Ferris wheel in the backyard. Hi, Mom. Hi, kids. Why don't you come in for snacks? Why don't you come in for some snacks? Oh, there you are, Perry. Oh, there you are, Perry. And Ferb says... You know, gladiators were Roman. No. My name is Lulu Jones, and this is my assistant, Fifi. Hi there. So, you really think you can bust my brothers? Ha ha ha, you're so cute. Isn't she cute, Fifi? Oh, yes, she is. Ha ha ha. You see, Candace, busting is my middle name. <laughs> it's my actual name, Lulu Busting Jones. I was born for this job. But you have no idea what my brothers are capable of. Believe me, I know. That's why I created this show. My brothers used to drive me crazy. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Yes, anyone? Hello? <laughs> But I guess my dreams faded into sepia tones somewhere along the way. Oh, Perry the Platypus, your shoes are untied. Psych! Before you go, I'd like to introduce you to the Gluminator 3000 Inator. Hmm? What's that? Could it be Morse code for. That evil gadget looks so manly and threatening. What on earth does it. Hmm, maybe I can squeeze a few more in there. Let me see. Perry the Platypus? Bobo the Rabbit! Do you know that I've been looking for you since the seventh grade? Ah! 
I can't believe you spent our entire life savings. <laughs> uh, oh no! What, what is this? Put your man in a so kids, keeping cool today? Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Oh, there you are, Perry. Oh, there you are, Perry. And Ferb says. And that is why I will never wear suspenders in public. And now for some snacks. Why don't your kids come inside for some pie? Yeah, I'll take some pie. Now we eat to the finish line. Hildegard's team had the team idea. The trophy was mine until... You only won because you cheated. Anything goes, remember? Well, what do you say we try it again? Cheater! Anytime, anywhere. You skate like a water buffalo. Hi, Jeremy. Your dad keeps his glue gun. Glue gun? What are they up to? Later, Stace. I knew it! I just knew you'd be up to something by now. At two, Grandpa? No, I just had one. There's more if you want. Oh, just wait until Mom hears about this. Heads up! Oof. Lace them up tight, dearie. We've got a score to settle. Whoop. And remember, honey, show them no mercy! What am I going to do? I can't beat Jeremy's grandmother, and I can't let my grandmother lose. Scares to their marks. Oh, great. Maybe I'll get lucky and get hit by a bus. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's main event. The Anything Goes Grudge Race of the Century between Grandma Betty Jo and Grandma Hildegard. I'm Phineas Flynn, and I'll be your announcer for today's action. In order to rid myself of that horrid bearded statue, I've invented the... <clears throat> uh, Betty the Platypus, this is so heavy. Can you just step out for a sec? I've invented the Breadinator! Not only will this machine emit a ray that will turn Mr. President into whole grain bread, it will also release a flock of hungry magpies that will devour the doughy statue! The beard to go bye-bye! <laughs> yeah, I did. Maybe it ain't so important who won, but that we had fun with the kids. Yeah, maybe it ain't important. But just for the record, I won. You mean, even though you lost, it's having fun that's important. Who are you calling a loser, cheater? Who are you calling a cheater, loser? That's it. Race you to the Rutherford B. Hayes statue. Go! Brad. Boys, I think she's finally lost it. Hey, Dad, how'd your speech go? Well, I have to say, it was thimbly wonderful. Hey, what's this thing do? What? Hey, guys, hand us around. Good catch, Jeremy. <laughs> he sure is. All right, what gifts? It's already 9 o'clock, and there's no construction noise, no delivery trucks, no... No nothing? They're just standing there, like statues. Statues? Good thinking, Verb. We'll put these decoys up so Candace thinks we're doing nothing. And then while Candace isn't looking, we'll do something. No problem, Candace, because today we're doing nothing anyway. And don't try to give me a... Did you say nothing? Nothing. <gasps> nothing? Nothing. Standing at something. Hmm. Well, you can't do nothing forever. And when you stop doing nothing, I'll start doing something. And that something will be busting you. Look. Who is Candace? Ah. Hey, Phineas. Is it the perfect day to build one of these or what? Sorry, Candace. It's like we said, we're pursuing the best do-nothing day ever. But if you put it in our inbox, we'll try to build it tomorrow. Uh-huh, time traveling submarine, come on! Candace, now you're just taking pay. My slow motion animator! This way, you are too slow to foil my evil scheme and I don't have to worry about capturing you. Problem solved. Anyway, let's get down to business. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I'm not exactly very, what do the kids call it these days? Handsome. My doctor says it's genetic, but I don't blame my parents. I blame everyone else in the entire <laughs> You know, like the ones you used to build? Well, I figured I'd get another fun today. Oh, pardon my reach. Just trying to get into the most convenient position to drive the stake into the ground. Oh yeah, I'm really having fun now. Uh, Candace? Oh, I know what you're gonna say. Of course you can take over the whole lot. <laughs> you, you should see yourself. You're so ugly. Oh, oh, 
I get it. Hardy har har. My autographed picture of Vance Ward. Oh, you've perverted my. Come on. Slow down. You know what else we should do today? Go search for a caveman at the Danville Glacier. Oh, I've got to find the perfect outfit to wear to Stacy's costume party. That's it! A disco diva! Nah. A corn dog. Nah. I know. I'll ask Jeremy. What do you think about my. <laughs> All right, let's see. Jurassic, Cretaceous, Plasticine. Oh, here's Paleolithic down here on the end. Perry the Platypus! Oh, your persistence is insufferable. And by that, I mean completely sufferable.